In this video, you will learn to change any low resolution images to high resolution images with an AI tool named ISR and you don't need any setup on your local machine because we are going to take advantage of free cloud service from Google Colab. Before we jump in, let's appreciate the contributors of the project and authors of the papers that were implemented. To follow along with me, get in the description to find the first link that will direct you to a Colab page. This script right here is a very simplified version of ISR or Image Super Resolution. All you need to do is mention your low resolution image, run and get the high resolution image as an output. Following the good practice, I will make a copy of the script on my Google Drive first. Once that is done copying, a new tab will emerge. Then run the first cell that will install, download necessary libraries, weights and create models, basically setting up the environment. After that is done, the second cell takes in your low resolution image. It can be from the web or you can upload your own image. You can search for low resolution images in Google. Just use the tool option and specify the size to be an icon, which makes sure the image you'll find is no bigger than 256 by 256 pixels. Just copy the image address, then paste it to this field. In case you're uploading your own image, upload the image to Golab. Then copy the path and paste this path to the same field. Now, to get the best results, you need to set the model right. For that, I suggest you look at the original Colab script. You will learn much more about ISR, pre-trained models and where it is best used step by step. In summary, the RD and noise cancelling model is best when your low resolution image has compression artifact like this. All the models will generate twice the resolution of the image, except the RRDN model quadruples the resolution. It is best to experiment with all different models. Selecting a model, run this cell. And finally run the third cell to view the results. On the left is your generated output and on the right is the original image that has been scaled to match the resolution of output. You can move the slider left and right to compare the result. If your slider does not respond or you want to download the generated result, open your file tab and download the image named result.png. To better understand ISR or if you want to train your own model, visit the docs page which is short and to the point. You will learn what makes ISR, how you can train and customize your own architecture of models. In a nutshell, ISR is made with a residual network, a special type of neural network which implements a shortcut path. Data can take the longer path through all the layers or just use a shortcut. This prevents vanishing and exploding gradient problems in very deep neural networks. Also, the random letters C, D, G, X are the hyperparameters of the models. Just to mention a few, D is the number of residual dense blocks, C is the number of convolutional layers stacked inside a residual block, and X is the scale by which the output is upscaled. ISR allows you to change these parameters and train with your own data to get you your desired output, and the code to perform all that is in the docs. I hope you liked this video, found it informative or helpful. Please subscribe because most of the viewers watching are not subscribed. Also like, share and comment. That will keep me motivated. Thank you.